questions, but before I do so, um, I just have a few remarks. Um, I want to today uh, address our extreme weather situation, including the heat waves and storms that swept northern Illinois and the greater Midwest late Monday. Winds clocked in at 85 miles per hour at multiple locations in Cook, DuPage, and Kane counties. One EF0 tornado touched down near Schaumburg, and the National Weather Service is continuing to assess if there were others. And I'm incredibly relieved to report that none of our residents lost their lives in these storms. However, these storms produced significant power outages and property damage, and combined with this record heat, it is a critical time to check on our neighbors. I want to reiterate to everyone, but particularly the vulnerable and the elderly, that you need to cool your body temperature down. Whether it's going to the movies or spending a few hours at a cooling center, spending some time in the cooling buses that are provided, or staying the night with family or friends. My administration has been in constant communication with local officials to actively monitor uh, the storm impacts throughout the region. IEMA Director Alicia Tate Nadeau is here with me today. Where are you, Alicia? There you are. Um, We've ordered full coordination on damage assess assessment. We've offered that uh, to make sure that we can get right to work with the necessary repairs. We're also working directly with the White House and FEMA to ensure access to all federal resources for this community. And as local entities work to secure federal reimbursements and recovery dollars, we will assist every step of the way. To those who experienced home damage, we will pursue all available resources to help you recover. At this point, I can report that of the approximately 125,000 customers who lost power in the storms, 120,000 of them have had their service restored. I've spoken personally with the CEO of ComEd about the urgency of this situation. ComEd expects full restorations for the remaining homes later today and my administration will continue to offer the support necessary to make sure that gets done. Finally, I want to stress to everyone that while these storms may be over, the threat of heat and humidity is not. So let me close by reiterating. We ask all Illinoisans to take measures to safeguard their families and keep cool. That includes staying hydrated, keeping out of the sun, and checking in with local news and emergency management agencies. We've got six state cooling centers across the state on top of many, many local locations. For the latest information from IEMA, our emergency management agency, you can go online to ready.illinois.gov or on social media to at ReadyIllinois. So everyone, let's take care of one another. Thank you, and I'm happy to take questions from members of the